Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to my new video. It's Hypno here. I really hope you enjoy and in today's video I'm going to be playing the best log bait deck inside of Clash Royale and this is also the best Evo Goblin Barrel deck inside of Clash Royale. So yeah, very nice deck right here and I'm currently in the like top 35 in the world or something like that. So yeah, we're looking very good on ladder and okay, this is like completely very like very aggressive from him. I don't really know about that. Like he's gonna get a lot of damage right here, but I don't know if he's gonna like really get away with that. I'm gonna go for barrel once I have enough because his dagger is his dagger is still gonna be low. So let's see. Okay, he just zaps that, but I get a bit of chip. I guess it was worth it for it, but for him. But we're looking good because with the princess hit right here, I should be in the damage lead. Yeah. So yeah, not the like greatest start, but not the worst start also. So I'll definitely take it. I have to be a bit careful against this guy, but overall I should be like um, fine. I have like the Prince, which is very good against this deck. Um, the Prince charge is like always very important on defense because it does so much damage and you don't really have a building inside of this deck, right? And I'll actually use my Prince for pressure right here because his dagger is out of ammo and he went for the giant in the back. So this way my Prince will even get more value than like playing it on defense because it killed his prince and got a shot onto his tower and if i played it on defense he would have just put the prince in, in like behind of his giant and that way like my prince would have been um a lot worse so he's just gonna get like one hit here yeah that's completely fine by me to be honest i can just go for my next princess and we're looking good right here because of that one one princess shot and not princess one prince shot that we got we up like um 700 damage now with the princess shot also so we're kind of chilling right here the only like thing is that i don't have a big spell inside of this deck so i always need to make sure i somehow finish off the tower but this deck has very good pressure so like that's mostly not really a big problem to take the tower and very good guards right here like he thought I'm probably just gonna Prince again like I did before, but this time I supported with the guards and that way he had to overcome it so much. He had to use 10 Elixir on defense with the Knight in Zap and Prince. So now he doesn't have any more Elixir to um, support the offense. So I'm actually gonna defend the Giant here for no hits and I'm gonna get a good counter push going just because I pressured the opposite lane. So very good opposite lane pressure right there. Now I'll go for the Evil Barrel. And I'll go for my normal barrel onto the right so it gets a little bit of chip and the evil barrel is like the like bad goblins are getting tanked for on the left side that are getting one hit. So it was definitely definitely better to go for my normal barrel on the right side and my fake barrel on the left side. Because if I went for my fake barrel on the left side or on the right side I mean sorry mixing it up um, then like it would have gotten zero damage. So yeah, definitely great game right here and I'll see you guys in the next game. We in the next game right here against Big O and I know this guy is a Lava Hound player. So like depends um, what variation he's playing on if we have matchup or not. So yeah, let's see. Like if he has the balloon, it's going to be his matchup. But if he has like the triple spell um, Lava Hound variation that people have been playing quite a lot the past, then it's definitely going to be my matchup, I think. Because, like, um, I always have the Dart Goblin and Rascals on defense. And he mostly only has, like, the arrows or something like that to kill both. Like, to kill one of them. And then he can kill the, kill the second one. He maybe even has, like, the Void to take the... Yeah, he has the Void also. But then I'll still have the Princess. So, I kind of have, like, three air defenses. And he only has two spells to kill them. So, if I play well, I should always be able to defend Lava Hound pushes. If he doesn't have the balloon, which he shouldn't have because, yeah, he's playing that triple spell variation without the balloon. So, okay, wait, he actually has the balloon. Okay, wait, what What doesn't he have then? I'm kind of like confused right now, but I guess we will tower trade right here and I'll go for my rascals in the middle to keep up the pressure and my prince will do a lot of damage on his king tower also. So, okay, we're in a pretty good situation after that, to be honest. Um, like... I don't think he should have given me the tower like that because like I can kind of um, pressure him very nicely once once his tower is down because like evil knight in the pocket is basically completely broken and the evil goblin barrel onto king tower is also like a very good choice that that does like so much damage because it's like six goblins onto the king tower and if the evil knight for example or a normal knight even is tanking in the pocket for that 
and that's gonna take take the king tower in seconds so he definitely has to like be careful of that i'll just go for my prince here to kill the valk protect my princess and also get offensive pressure going so okay he goes for the um he goes for the What's it called? Skelly Dragons. So I'll go for the like Evo Knight here and the Evo Goblin Barrel. He already killed the Evo Knight with pretty good cards, but look at that. He has to go for the Evo Valk and Zap, which like defends that pretty nicely, to be honest. But he still had to overcommit a lot. And yeah, that was pretty bad Skelly Drags from him. He knows that he still has to play the guards to kill my um, Princess and princess and dart goblin right there and okay that's a kind of over aggressive loon from him i feel like i mean he's gonna get at least one hit but i don't think he can stop this to be honest i was thinking about going for the log right there because maybe he would play the guards but it it was good that i didn't go for it because he didn't play the guards and the prince actually got so much damage on the king tower and hold up he actually still has to defend the um rascals and he still needs to defend the um <laughs> He still needs to defend the guards also, obviously. I'll just go for the prince to get king tower um, pressure so he can't go for like a lava hound in the pocket or, be, or balloon or anything like that. So he's forced to go for the Valkyrie on defense. But now he doesn't have any more good ground units to defend, basically. Okay, he failed the zap. That's not going to full counter the goblin barrel. Yeah, that gets like pretty good damage. I'll go for my guards to protect the dart goblins so he still has to defend that. He goes for the skelly dragons. I can just go for my prince. He's probably going to valk. Yeah, there's his valk, but... Okay, I'll just go for my um, Evo Knight to tank for the one Skelly Dragon that will survive. And that way the Skelly Dragon doesn't get any damage onto my tower. And okay, I'll just go for the Dart Goblin here. I have to make sure he doesn't get a hit and then I should win the game, honestly. So very nice Dart Goblin plus Princess making sure he doesn't get a hit. And that should basically be game right here. He's giving me the wizard like he doesn't know what what to do basically that emote so <laughs> okay pretty good game right here pretty good matchup for me also so ggs and i'll see you guys in the next game we in the next game right here against lc up and guys i just did my first stream today and yeah i'm gonna be streaming like a lot more um from now on probably like um at least three to four times a week hopefully like um, sometimes like almost every day so yeah I'll see how often I can manage to stream I'll just like um, do it as often as I can and don't worry like I'm still gonna upload a video every day so yeah I have been like uploading for 130 days or almost like 150 days now I think um, like without missing a single day on YouTube so yeah definitely on a very consistent grind and I'm looking forward to keep that up so if you haven't subscribed make subscribed and you enjoy the content definitely make sure to subscribe and if you don't want to miss out like on any videos or if you uh, if you don't want to miss like out on the streams also make sure to like turn on the notification bell you so you get a notification once I'm live and so you can like join the stream if you like actually want to watch me live and talk to me in the chat like i'll be reading the chat when i'm in the, when i'm streaming obviously so you can talk live to me and ask me questions questions and all that and yeah i can maybe like even play your decks and grand challenges and something like that so that's gonna be like quite nice from now on and yeah the first stream definitely went well so if any one of you guys is um watching the video right now that was in the stream also Definitely, yeah, appreciate you guys um, being in my first stream. And I hope you guys enjoy enjoyed the stream also. So, yeah, hopefully, um, yeah, I'm going to be able to stream a lot in the future also. So, he doesn't, like, really have Elixir to defend the Evo Knight right here. Or at least it's not really worth it for him to defend that because he knows he couldn't, like, stop the tower anyway. So, okay, he's just going to go for his Phoenix now so he doesn't really get 3 crowned. I can just go for my Evo Barrel and... Yeah, he definitely had to put something onto that. Otherwise, that would have definitely gotten like 1,500 or 2,000 damage at least. I'll just go for my late log right here. So, okay, that's still going to charge, right? Okay, it didn't charge. So very good log right there, but very good bad guards. I tried to put them out of the Goblin Curse spell, but that way the Prince charged at my Prince instead of the guards. So not the greatest guards for me right there, but it's all good because I still managed to defend quite nicely. So... I'll just go for my goblin barrel because the dagger will be tanked for from the knight and okay looks like he actually gave up right here and I'll actually have to BM him because he has BM'd me in the past I don't even know why like for no reason basically and always have to get the get back on my people um, that BM me so GG's right here I hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys for the next video tomorrow bye